all right good day to everyone it's actually a beautiful day but um most importantly today we're going to be looking at the gold mafia all right guys for those who watched the gold mafia one gold mafia two three and four i just want to have some talk with you right yeah we're just gonna talk a bit not much right i'm not here because i want to talk about corruption i'm here because i want to talk about the spiritual world how it works and how it functions so that everyone can understand and we can all have the direction of where to go from here right i think when al jazeera um showcased the gold mafia most of our friends and our pod everybody i mean who watched it, the four series or documentaries really wanted to understand what are some of the strides that uh, corrupt people you know poo, especially when they are busy with their looting but i wasn't interested in that i was really more on the other side of the spiritual world but something fascinating really pops out um and uh, i need to talk about a man called brother paul um you remember him right the man that really brought kenya to its knees um because and then he was acquitted later you know money talks right money is like the real deal when you have the money you can get away with anything in this world because the moment you pay people right and then that's it so i wanted to say to the people of zimbabwe that that's where your freedom lies mr paul who now moved to zimbabwe and opened a church so let's start right there a church so there are two types of church in 2023 or even before. When you read the Bible, you can hear when Jesus was talking about healing and deliverance. There was a time that people started accusing him because that you were healing was the spirit of Beelzebub. Because there's always another spirit that um, masquerading itself is the spirit of God. Even though it's not a good spirit because the Holy Spirit is the Holy, which is God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, right? They are one. It's God himself giving you direction so mr paul opened the church in zimbabwe he talks praise god all the time praise god and no one ever asked a question to who or to which god is he referring to because this man he is causing a lot of pain he the only thing that he does is afflicting people with pain so he loots everything he's so much connected and he makes sure that when he loses he loses to a point where poverty find its place in the society and uh, most people are struggling right he moved to zimbabwe and he opened a church i want to have to come right there was it really a church or it was an altar right an altar again to plan the very same pain he did in kenya in Zimbabwe, the very same Mr. Paul. And now I wish I could have a chat with Mr. Paul and say, wherever you are, Mr. Paul, if you get to hear or to listen to this video, I would like to have a chat with you. And why I would want to ask you one thing to say, please, can you go back and cut your covenant with your country because you've caused so much pain, sir? All right. So, so much has been happening. So much of bloodshed, you saw it because you can't, there won't be a covenant without the blood. When God wanted a covenant, he said, okay, I'm going to give out my son. Yes, because I need, the blood has to be there in order for a covenant to be enacted. So here we are as a people, we're in the midst of confusion. We are in the midst of chaos. But no one ever asks a question. What's happening in the spiritual world? Are we really having problems from a physical aspect of it? No, definitely not. It is more to do with the spiritual world. The spiritual world works and it controls everything. So two kingdoms that are operating daily, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. And the devil is at work. So when I want to speak to the church, mainly the people that trust and believe that Jesus is Lord. They're honestly desperate, want to know how can we move forward? How we can move forward is we to make sure that we allow God to take over the battle. And I know some people, those learned ones, because to those people who have no knowledge and wisdom, then we are able to deal with the enemy himself, Lucifer, devil from the pit of hell, who came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I wanted to tell you and said, the problem that we are facing in Zimbabwe is the ex of the devil. Instead of fighting people who are just also being used, it's better for us to confront the real enemy, Lucifer from hell, who came after our destinies. We have set his altar 
it was in the form of a church, but it wasn't a church. This is why you see that there is a massive influx of false prophets in the entire world. Why? Because that's how they function. It's a syndicate of Satanism. But you never, you would never know because they always masquerading themselves as men of God. They are more materialistic, and how you identify them, they ask you into search of authority and power. Right, but that's how Je the devil is all about. When Jesus was coming down from the mountain, he, the devil approached him and said, "Listen, worship me. I'll give you everything that you want in the world. This whole world is you see." And we all know that the devil is the god of this world. And Jesus said, "Because of the wisdom it comes for you, was able to say, not save that thou shalt only save the Lord your God.' So I'm going to tell you now that what you're dealing with is really the devil, Lucifer from hell, who came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But what you're going to do is you're going to have very workable strategies to bring his kingdom down for good and forever. So let's work together so we can have a better Zimbabwe as a cult that is at work. But I'm expecting you to rise up as men and women of wisdom and counsel to find ways so that we can we can't lose yeah, right? If the truth is on our side, we will never lose the battle. So I love you all and God bless you, but I expect you to pray for the nation. We're not only going to pray, we are going to strategically pray. And we are going to strategically pray with intentions to win. We are not people that lose the battle. I love you and God bless you, but know that the God Mafia was really displaying the spiritual world and how it works. I love you all. Bless you.